Hey guys, it's Jordan. If you noticed anything different about me today, well, other than me being in my bathroom, we're in my bathroom because I have been getting some requests to do an eyebrow tutorial. Oh, I'm looking at myself, but my eyebrows are not done. This is my natural eyebrow, hi. I'm gonna show you how I get my eyebrows ready. My hair's still drying and everything, so I am looking ratchet, so don't judge. Some people have been asking me to do this, so we're gonna do this. I have a mirror right here, so that's what I'm gonna be looking in. My products, some of them are good, some of them aren't the best, some of them are straight up from, you know, like your Walmart, Kroger, something like that, wherever you are, Publix. Use whatever products you have that are similar. It doesn't have to be a specific brand as long as it's the product itself. Like an eyebrow pencil and eyeshadows and things like that. So first, I use this. It's Neutrogena Shine Control. It's a little bit dirty. <laughs> and the reason I keep this is because I feel like it helps it not get so greasy. Like wherever you apply it, it's, where you, it's like a primer before you put your makeup on. I rub it in my fingers, just a little bit actually, like barely any. Cause I don't really wear makeup outside of my eyebrows. So I put this on my eyebrow. Put on my eyebrow. <laughs> Step two. So I use, well lately I've been using, this is just a Rimmel London uh, Professional Eyebrow Pencil, LOL. I try to use a light color because obviously my hair is white, but I'm not gonna use white. But I will say, Sephora has this really good um, eyebrow pencil. Like it's a line of eyebrow pencils, but they're like twisty and they come out and they last for a while. And they're really good, but they're expensive. It has this little brush on it. You can get an eyebrow brush that's like this, because I use this sometimes too, but um, when I'm in a rush, I just use this thing. And I try to like brush my eyebrows out. Look at me, I already wrote on my eyebrow. So ratchet. And take this, you want it to be kind of sharp, and I'm gonna do this in the mirror. I'll try to do it in here. Because this will be a totally pointless thing. So, here we go. Ugh, my face looks really gross up close. Ugh. So I try to like go upwards a little bit at a slant. Lately I've been like trying not to keep them so big. So I'll try to like, even though my eyebrow in the beginning is pretty wide or whatever, I still try to bring it in. And then I'd make a little edge like at the edge of my face. And then I just go in. I try to start like light at the beginning get darker, doesn't always work. Whatever, they're eyebrows. Then I'll fill this in a little bit. At the end. See, 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 see. I don't fill all the way up because that's what you're gonna use eyeshadow for. Oof. See the difference already? This eyebrow, this eyebrow. This eyebrow, this eyebrow. It looks really ratchet right now in this lighting, but I promise it'll get better. Then step three, which is really simple. I have a Lorac to go pro. I actually think this is like eyeshadow, but it works well because it has these different colors. Mine are light, so I use this cafe color, whatever. You don't really have to have a Lorac or whatever. You have eyeshadow that's similar to the color of your eyebrows. And since I didn't shade in that whole first part, what I do is I start like right there with this little brush and then shade out. And this is just cause I try to give it like a fade effect. Cause if you just use a pencil all the way through, it's harder to make it look faded. It kind of end up looking splotchy. Whereas the eyeshadow, as you can see, like where we outlined it, it still looks like your eyebrows there, but your eyeshadow makes it look like it's fading. Mm -hmm. So look, there's my eyebrow. It might look a little bit raggedy, but I'm gonna do it quick. See, my real eyebrow, which is my fake. Not that big of a difference, it just makes your eyebrow look more full because my real eyebrows are a little bit thin and they start like right here and it's just not cute. Sometimes I'll take this brush and just any type of foundation and run it through because my eyebrows sometimes are just a little bit too dark because my hair is so white. It's really hard to do this when you have white hair because you can't make your eyebrows too dark. Well, I guess you could. I mean, it doesn't look great. You can do whatever you want. Cut. See that? That's my eyebrow. 
so voila, they're both done. Look at them, yay. So that's how I get my eyebrows, you know, together every day. Ugh, tease. It seems like a lot too, but it's really not. Once you get the hang of it, it like goes really fast, and I can do it pretty quickly. Like it takes me maybe like, you know, five to ten minutes. They don't always look cute. Whatever, I try. I hope you find that like one of my eyebrows will be better than the other one. So it's like some days I'm happy that my hair lays like this because it'll lay on the eyebrow that doesn't look as cute as the other. You know, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I can't make them look the same. So for those of you who were asking about that and all of that, I did this for you. Thank you for seeing my face up close and personal and ugly. There's your eyebrow tutorial. I love you guys so much. If you want, you can go ahead and follow or add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Kick, Snapchat, Instagram, at the Jordan Gibson. It's all in my crotch box. Drop it down. Get in my crotch. Go learn about me. And I'll make more tutorials or whatever videos you guys want to make. Whatever you want to watch. I mean, I'm here for you. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Oh, shit. I'm not going to be so dry. Okay, party people in the house. Mm.